Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, King Vader, and welcome to Gamepad, a show that ventures off to find the coolest, dopest, and latest game rooms and learn about the players who play there. And today, we're meeting with Marquia, the host of DC Daily. And away we go! Oh, hey. hey. Hi, I'm Vader. Hey, uh, nice Marquia, my nice party. Nice <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the DC Daily portion of uh, DC. I'm so excited for today. Oh, excellent. I'm gonna show you the sound stages and okay. show you my gamepad at work. Let's get it, like I'm That's excited. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, heading in. This is like, these are life size, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, he's a little intimidating. Like he looks strong right now, like he's not even moving. <laughs> And this is just the hallway. I'm ready. All I'm right. ready. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> you work here. I work here. I get paid to nerd out. <laughs> this is a lot. Like it's a lot to handle. Like they right. change up the set continuously. We we used to have a Aquaman under the sea thing. You should have seen it during Christmas. We had two Christmas trees like filled with merch. Let's walk over here. I've seen a lot of Superman suits, but I don't know if I'm too familiar with this, this one. This one's gorgeous. He got the velvet on him, man. He drenched. This is amazing. Yeah. Wall of um, us and all of our guests. I'm like gonna be Paul signing Dini. that. I'm, I'm gonna be signing that. I hope you know. I, hey, I, just I don't hope. see any reason for you not to. What is DC Daily? We tell you the news uh, that's going for DC, specifically with uh, DC Universe. Mm -hmm. You know, we cover um, comics, uh, movies, the television shows, like the original programming that's on DC Universe. Okay. We do panels where we give our our informed opinions. Everybody has uh, different levels of uh, nerdery, and you can also catch them um, interviews of like your favorite actors. Sam Levine has an in-depth um, prop mm -hmm. um, show where it's like you go and you you can see all the props. Hosting and interviewing mm -hmm. seem to be a uh, you know, my bread and butter. And I started off as a wrestling host really? for main event and then moved up to uh, WWE Raw. That transitioned um, into uh, comic books and movies and TV. I would have never pictured that I would be um, working with DC or that I would yeah. be, you know, part of DC Daily. I always pictured three things. I would love my work, I would be respected for what I did, and I would be joyous while I did it. It's just amazing like, you know, being a like a kid and like being a fan of like these heroes and stuff like that and then, you know, growing up and being able to be this close to all of it. And what type of gamer are you? I love the retro gaming. I mean, that's kind of like my niche. There's just something about it. But speaking on retro games, do you have like a favorite? Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. <laughs> Vertical scrolling platformer, but kind of not. These two dinosaurs that can blow bubbles, they have to capture all of the bad guys on the screen before they can go to the next one. Mm -hmm. And you have to make your way into the end. And okay. there's different endings depending on if both of you make it there. But the reason why it's such a big thing for me is like that was, that was like, it's turned into the sleepover game yeah. until the morning and then mom's like, hey, uh, well, y'all are up. Let's do French toast. How important do you think diversity is when it comes to uh, gaming? Well, diversity is uh, important. Um, yeah. What I think is more important is inclusion mm. because um, you can tick off boxes and have like, oh, I'm gonna have this many of this type um, in my game Absolutely. or you know, in on my show or on whatever. But if you don't actually try to make an environment where that person can prosper like other people do, then you know what are you doing? I mean, Sorry. I. I specifically tailor to put my voice into things that I believe in, like um, Ask Your Black Geek Friend. It mm. is literally a show where it's like, hey, those questions that you don't feel comfortable asking, ask us, exactly. we'll tell you. <laughs> Inclusion is the most important thing because it helps ideas foster. You see where uh, I work yeah. uh, every day, so uh, I want you to see where I play every day, my gamepad at work. Oh yeah, that we I gotta have. check it out. Yes. Let's do it, let's go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, you've seen uh, everything else. This is my gamepad at work. You got quite the collection here. I brought a lot of stuff from home because, you know, I just want to be comfortable while I'm here, like in between, you this, know, this panels is... and interviews. I love vintage. We yeah. got a GameCube. Nintendo 64. Original Nintendo right now, the mood that I'm feeling with uh, GameCube. Mm -hmm. We've got so many excellent possibilities with that. Smash Brothers! Yeah. And uh, Eternal Darkness, which is basically a journey into your own madness. Maniac Mansion. I love this game. Think of it like Escape from Monkey Island, where it's like, um, oh, you pick up a banana peel that you're gonna need later. Like Maniac Mansion back in the day really did that. What do you think got you into gaming? I'm a military brat. Okay. So uh, basically with that, uh, my mom was in the Navy mm -hmm. and we traveled around with her. So you would basically take America with you. 
and then whatever you had, whatever your nerddom was, mm -hmm. you know, you would kind of swap with the other kids on the base. Can we play some games? Like, do you have any of your favorites here? We're gonna keep it real classic. Classic. And we're gonna do Super Mario Brothers 3, but a port um, on Nintendo Switch. Super Mario Brothers 3 is pretty solid. A little tip, this he's not nice. gonna come out if you <gasps> stay right next to- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you are a professional. I remember like um, when you hit like Super Mario World, it's like all of a sudden, it doesn't seem like a, it's not a side scroller anymore. It's like this whole world and you get to make all of these choices. Now when you see what they're what they're doing with it, I mean, it's, it's almost like a culture. Mario's yeah. a culture now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm amazing. Hold on. Let me, oh, oh, right. oh, chill out, chill out. <laughs> wow.